I, uh, as you saw, I just met with the leader of the NATO and the G7, and uh, talked about the latest events in Europe. And I briefed them on my discussions with President Duda of Poland, as well as NATO Secretary General Stoltenberg. And uh, we agreed to support Poland's investigation into the explosion in rural Poland near the Ukrainian border. And I'm going to make sure we figure out exactly what happened. Our amputated simply goes out to family. Two people were killed. And, uh, and then we're going to collectively determine our next step as we investigate and proceed. There was total unanimity among the folks at the table. And we also discussed the latest series of Russian missile attacks, which are continuing to follow the manner that they've demonstrated throughout this war against Ukrainian cities and civilian infrastructure. And uh, they, they've been totally unconscionable, what they're doing. Totally unconscionable. And the moment when the world has come together as a G20 to urge de escalation, Russia continues to uh, occasionally escalate Ukraine. Why were we? I mean, there were scores and scores of attacks, missile attacks, in the Western Ukraine. We support Ukraine fully in this moment. We have uh, we have since the start this conflict and we continue to do whatever it takes to give them the capacity to defend themselves. Mr. President, are too early to say whether this missile was fired from Russia? There is plenty of information that contests that. I don't want to say that until we completely investigate whether it was uh, Unlikely in the lines of the trajectory that it was fired from Russia. But we'll, we'll, we'll see.